is this? Twilight? So, I'm Tic Tac. Alright. And I'm Squigs. This is Van Helsing. Yes, not Twilight. We would never do Twilight. Yes. Story of Van Helsing, it's about Van Helsing. Uh, Van Helsing, he's a, you know, pretty much he's a fighter for like the Catholic Church. The way it goes and he searches out evil and he's there to kill evil. He only, he doesn't only hunt vampires, he hunts anything. Any kind of, yeah, any kind of monster out there. Kind of like the man Buffy. Yeah, 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 kind of. What he's doing is he's got to go to Transylvania, where there just happens to be Dracula. Hmm, just happens. Happens, dance. And then there's more, and it's kind of, they really build the stories together, and it's, you know, it's more connected than you you would have ever imagined once you start watching it. Throughout the movie, you get a couple of mini boss fights, for lack of a better word, where he just fights off these different monsters and stuff, and it kind of each one of those kind of. Doctor Jekyll, and Mr Hyde. To start, I'm just gonna say that. I mean, it doesn't give anything away. That's no, that's fighting. one of them. And I think there's a werewolf at one point too. Yeah. Um, uh, Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, Not exactly. To be confused with Frankenstein, they're different. <laughs> and so those are the kind of the monsters that he fights. They kind of intertwine in the story. So it's, at first, it seems like it's just your basic run-of-the-mill fight scenes throughout these movies, but you actually find out that there's more to it behind all this whole thing with Dracula and. And whatnot. I'm gonna say at the end, I mean I loved it, but at the end they still leave you wanting a little more. Yeah, no you're right, there are pieces that at the end of the movie, how it ends, maybe not how it ends, but there's parts that untwine at the end that you're kind of hoping for different outcomes. Doesn't matter. So, actors, actresses. Um, Kate Beckinsale. Well, I was gonna start off with Hugh Jackman, which is the reason why we're doing this. True, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman, uh, because of Les Miserables coming out, again, another one, we're pumping this out. So, what did you think of his performance in this one? I like his performance. I try, try giving the review right now without saying the word astonishing. And that's the word of the day, because he's lame. <laughs> and it's T-on, on, E-O-N-ish, nope. I-S-H-ing, yeah. I-N-G, maybe? Let's so get, much difficult. Let's get Siri way. out here and see if we can uh, uh, spell check. Your word. Siri, how do you spell astonishing? Technology. This might answer your question. She didn't say it back to me, but she uh, she has it here and he spelled it wrong. Right. I thought he I thought he did a, I thought he did a really good job. I thought I thought he made a perfect Van Helsing. I mean I never had a picture of what Van Helsing was, but obviously it's not just him, it's the person who decided his hair was gonna be long. Thinking Hugh Jackman long hair, but it it happens in here. Don't worry, if you've never seen Hugh Jackman with long hair, well, for one thing, you're an idiot because you haven't watched Van Helsing. But he does pull it off. I'd have a man crush on that guy. He's See? There you go, ladies. He's good stuff. There you go. I don't think any girl that I just disagree. I just think he's I mean, just from the Wolverine movies, I mean, my mom wanted to see Wolverine just to see Hugh Jackman play Wolverine. Hmm, see ya. There so you go. There's a reason why they call him Hugh Jackman. He's a man's man, that guy. <laughs> from down under. Um all right, no, I don't have anything to add to no, what, no. what's your... <laughs> this guy doesn't even know how punny he is. He's actually a really good actor, especially in this. This is definitely, to me, one of his prize roles. So... Keep back and so? Yes, we both have a crush on her. Who doesn't? Did you say something? I was just thinking about Kate Beckinsale. I was thinking how astonishing she looks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just I can't get enough of Beckinsale. I saw a picture of the other day in the magazine and I was like... He was spent for the rest of the day. I thought the accent was kind of hokey. Yeah. But other than that, you know, she could... <laughs> she could walk wonders over top of this guy. So, sci-fi. This is a sci-fi because obviously, well, I think vampires don't exist. Don't ask Kirsten Stewart. Maybe sure she fantasy. does exist. Yeah, well, same thing. If she's like, I can't see those diamonds in my eyes and they're so beautiful. It's because it's my husband, you know, the director's husband, you know. Anyways, so, yeah, sci-fi fantasy, I think you could give it a label of both, but you know what, as far as um, graphics go, and you know what, this is where the movie does take some hits. Anyways, they could have done a better job on that. Yeah, I was just, it left me wanting. It, it really did. Rating time, at that special time. Go ahead and start this one. Out of five, because I'm only half the show here, except I'm just as upset because he's a loser. Out of five, I give it a, I'm going to give it a three and a half. I'm going to go above you this time. I'm going to give it a four. 
This might be one of the very few times that I give it a higher rating than you do. Seven and a half out of ten, long hair beauty. On to the next review. Did you sense the stain in my voice? I'm just wondering. For Twilight, but for my half. <laughs> Well, yeah. it was, you probably did a better job than half the actors in Twilight, so. <laughs> I was just going to say that. I'm pretty sure I gave a little bit of emotion. Give me an Emmy. Come on.